Hey guys, it's Shayla with Seeking Shayla. Um, coming in for my weekly update. It's Monday, the 21st. This marks five weeks post-op ruin Y gastric bypass at Celebration Health, Florida Hospital in Celebration, Florida with Dr. Keith Kim. Um, I do have some new subscribers, so I'm 28, 6 foot tall, high weight was 468, surgery weight was 444.4, last week I came to y'all with a weight of 416, and uh, as of Saturday, this past Saturday, which is the last time I weighed in, I was 410, so that is at least a 6 pound loss. Um, I'm going to try to keep this short. Um, I've been having a rough week, especially since uh, Thursday, Friday. Um, food hasn't been going down. Shakes make me nauseous. Food makes me nauseous. Some things have been coming back up. Um, I'm exhausted. don't feel good. Uh, yes, I've been in contact with my surgeon's office and everything. And... Um, and then uh, this this is a little TMI, but started my period on Sunday, which I knew I was going to soon. Uh, sorry for the guys that are watching, but this is important. Uh, I do have PCOS. I'm not on the birth control pills. I was told not to take them anymore, um, and it's really bad. I'm in a lot of pain. I'm sick. Uh, just going through a really rough spot right now, guys. Um, uh, I don't even know what to talk about. So, I, I haven't weighed myself since Saturday, obviously, because I've started my monthly. Um, I don't want to see any weight gain or anything like that. So, I just haven't weighed myself. I will weigh myself after I'm done, maybe a day or two after. And uh, that's that. I haven't been getting my protein in. I've been getting almost all my fluids in. Um, I've just been trying the best I can. Um, it's just a rough time. My mom had knee surgery today, and I was at the hospital all day. And I did bring yogurt and some laughing cow cheese, and that, that food went down. Um, but then I had to leave right as my mom... Uh, had been in recovery after surgery, you know, she's okay and everything. Um, I had to leave for my psych doctor appointment, and that's about an hour drive from where I was. So, hour drive, I get almost, I get, I'm getting off the highway almost, and uh, I get a very sharp, stabbing pain in my right side. Um, I feel nauseous, I'm shaking, I'm sweating, it's horrible. Uh, I, there was too much traffic, and there was no safe place to pull off. All the places to pull off, once I got off the highway, were backed up. It wasn't safe for me to pull off the road at that point in time. It's a very busy city place. So I ended up calling my stepdad, who was, you know, taking care of my mom, and I said, I think I'm having a gallbladder attack. I'm sick. I'm trying to get to my doctor's appointment. He said to call him when I got there. So I get to my doctor's office, which is just about three miles away from the highway, and I go in, go into the bathroom, and I vomit twice. Um, I didn't really have anything in me, so it wasn't, you know, full-on anything, but it was horrible. I go up there, and I'm like, look, can I talk to a doctor real quick? I think I'm having a gallbladder attack. Something's going on. So they talk to me, and they say, you need to call your surgeon. I think you are having a gallbladder attack. You need to go to the ER. It's like, just let me sit down. So uh, I start emailing my nurse care coordinator because my doctor's office, my surgeon's office, was closed. And she's emailing me right back and says to call Dr. Kim, my surgeon, um, through the answering service. So they get my surgeon on the line, and I tell him what's going on. He says, it does sound like the gallbladder, but it also kind of sounds like dumping. Um, and I was like, well, I haven't done that yet, and I really haven't I haven't eaten anything. I told him about how sick I've been and not being able to get food in and blah, 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 blah. 
He said, okay, well, if it gets worse tonight, you need to go to the ER, but otherwise, um, yeah, we need to have you come in for an office appointment tomorrow. So now my surgeon's office is like an hour and 15 minutes away from where I live. So I'm going to have to figure out when I need to go tomorrow. I tried calling for an appointment, but I forgot that the office was already closed. But I did email back the patient, the nurse care coordinator, Sharon. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. Ugh, I'm just trying to get this info out. Uh, I did email her back and said what Dr. Kim said. She said she's going to help me get an appointment tomorrow. Uh, she'll keep in contact with me. So all in all, the pain subsided. Uh, I just have kind of a dull, like a, a dull cramping feeling. Not like menstrual cycle cramps, but it's a different kind of cramping. I've never had this feeling before, whereas it was stabbing pain. So, um... I just don't feel good, guys. I know I've said that like a million times already, but I'm run down. Um, weight loss is great, but I'm screwing myself up because I'm not able to get in my protein because I can't eat. Protein shakes are horrible. Um, I'm about to make some egg drop soup because it's been about seven hours, almost seven hours since I ate last. Uh, I have been drinking water, but uh, I need to get I need to get some kind of protein in me. Um, so, they never said this was going to be easy, <laughs> it sure isn't, um, I know it's going to get better, and I don't regret my decision at all, not in the least, you know, my numbers say it all, from 468 down to 410, it's pretty amazing, you know, I'm feeling good about that, but uh, just a rough spot, I'll be okay guys. All right, well, I'm a little over seven minutes, so I'm sorry for the brevity. I'm sorry for complaining, but this needs to be documented, and uh, just let you all know what's going on. Uh, maybe I'll make a quick video tomorrow after my doctor's appointment, let you all know what's going on. I appreciate any prayers or good thoughts you have. Um, yeah, that's about it. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.